well, obviously, Secretary, former Secretary Panelo is not from Mindanao. Because, sabi ko nga, pag sinabi mong secession and independence, these are not mere words to us. Na-experience namin, ang daming namatay. Ang daming gera. Of course, when you hear uh, this issues again popping up out of nowhere, of course, you, it will remind you of your past experiences before. And it doesn't set well in our memory. Obviously, he's not from Mindanao, so he does not know how, why we reacted this way. And yes, me, alam mo, this, sabi ko nga, we are a democratic society. There's a plenty of spaces where you can, you know, say your piece. But when you discuss about secession, it has a very deep meaning to it. Kasi you're talking about not only disenfranchising a certain areas from the Philippines, you're actually threatening our territory. You are threatening not only the geographical uh, composition of the Philippines, but you are in fact threatening the existing institutions, which by the way, institutions are very, very working now. So ang, ang, I'm sorry if, if, ano, ah, if that's not his cup of tea. Pero kami ng mga taong Mindanao, at kami ang nakarinig ng putukan, at kami ang nakita kung sino namatay. Ako namatay na ako ng mga kamag-anak. Of course, when you talk about, and come, come approach me and talk about these things, hindi lang go ballistic, baka ano. So, uh, is, ang ano ko lang sa kanya, kay Secretary Panelo, bumunta lang kaya siya ng Mindanao at doon siya tumira sa area namin at sabihin niyang may mga, uh, ano, kung may mga, may mga, uh, la lalo na sa mga community, uh, mga conflict-stricken communities. At sabihin kaya niya na mag-independent siya. At anong magiging, anong makukuha niyang reaksyon?